Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about your Brevo account and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you import your subscriber list into Brevo? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to import your subscriber list into Brevo? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're running an online business, you know, it's important to stay in touch with your customers and Brevo is a popular way to do that. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in your Brevo dashboard. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well, but I've already logged into my Brevo account and this is the home screen. Now here on the home screen, if you want to import a spreadsheet of your contacts into Brevo, you want to click on contacts here on the left. Okay. So once you do that, you'll see all of the contacts that you already have in your Brevo. You can see, I just have this one. And in order to import a subscriber list, you want to click on this button here, import contacts. Okay. Once you do that, you have these four options, but you want to make sure to choose contacts. And then you want to click on continue down here on the bottom, right? Okay. So you actually have three different ways that you can import your contact into Brevo. So you can just copy and paste. You can import from other tools, but for me, the easiest is importing a spreadsheet right here, import from a file. They do let you know it can be a CSV XLSX or a text file. Okay. So once you click there, it's going to ask you to go ahead and upload your list right here. So I'm going to go ahead and drop my list into here. Okay. Just a quick second later at upload, and then you're going to see a preview right here of your contacts. So next you want to click on confirm your file. Okay. Now you have to map out the data. So this is based off of how many columns that you have. So for mine, it's pulling up the address and the email right here. Okay. So they don't have the city state or zip. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to click on this drop down menu and then I'm going to click on add new attribute. And then I'm just going to name this as city. And then also if it has other data, okay, next I'm going to go ahead and name this city and then create. Okay. Now updates. So it's going to map out the city. If you don't want it to show up in your Brevo, you can go ahead and click on do not import like this one. Okay. So once you've mapped it out, you want to scroll to the bottom and click on confirm mapping. Okay. Once you click there, you want to go ahead and click on confirm your list. Okay. So this is actually really important. You do have to confirm this right here because if not, you could be kicked off of the Brevo system. It says that your contacts explicitly gave you permission to send them emails or text messages. If this is not correct, then you could be kicked off the system. So just kind of keep that in mind. And then you want to click on confirm your import. Okay. Just a quick second later, the page refreshes. Now you can see I have four contacts total in my Brevo account. So we added in three right here. So there you have it guys. If you're wondering how to import your subscriber list into your Brevo account, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.